Good morning, New York! <laughs> Angela, daily by the pals, uh, Monday, fun day. I finished my workout, I had a cold shower, and I'm full of energy. And uh, I want to give some of that to you and motivate you to do something amazing, something that you're proud of. Um, so what's that one thing, the only thing that motivates all of us? It's something that makes us feel that we contribute to something bigger than ourselves. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge goal setter, like I love setting goals, but, but a lot of times I lose enthusiasm somewhere uh, in the middle to my goal and uh, I realize that it's not really my goal, it doesn't motivate me because it doesn't give me that feeling that I contribute to something bigger than myself, that, that contribute to my mission, to something meaningful to me. And that's why a lot of times I lose motivation halfway to my goal, because I realize it's not really what I want, it doesn't really make any sense to me, and it's not meaningful to me, it doesn't make me feel that I belong, uh, that I contribute to something bigger than myself. And uh, if you want to create um, something different in your life, if you want to create a breakthrough in your life, if you want to reach uh, a bigger goal in your life, then you gotta uh, find that goal that will make you feel like you contribute to something bigger than yourself, it's something meaningful, it's something that uh, you can leave behind and be proud of it. Um, so I had this goal, you know, being on the cover of a magazine, being a fitness model, but I realized uh, a couple of days ago that, it's not, that it doesn't actually motivate me. Like when I see a fitness model, yeah, it's cool, it looks amazing, uh, they do a lot of work, but does it motivate me to be better me, to go and work out, to uh, have to create more energy or to be bigger than myself no it doesn't so and that's was why i wanted to become a fitness model i thought in my head that that's gonna motivate more people to work out more to be healthier uh, but i don't think it's gonna happen i mean uh i'm not gonna be the best fitness model because uh, i'm just my mind is not into it like i don't have that mindset, competitive mindset, so uh, why would I want to concentrate a lot of my energy on becoming a fitness model if it doesn't really mean a lot to me, if I don't really believe in that, you know, in, deep down, I don't really believe in that, and yes, a lot of people tell me, like, you, I, I can be easily fitness model, and fitness is my thing, and uh, I, it, it will be easier for me to pursue this thing than anything else, but uh, I thought to myself a couple of days ago, Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe it's not my thing. Maybe I'm motivated by solving problems that I see uh, in the world. Maybe uh, I know how to actually make people go out and move and be healthier and also socialize and connect to each other. And uh, maybe uh, it's not fitness model that's going to help me to uh, help more people. And I realized that, yeah, I'm not that passionate about fitness modeling. I'm passionate about healthy living. I'm passionate about uh, creating a lot of uh, energy, uh, helping other people to be better than, be better versions of themselves, to be fitter, to be healthier, to eat healthier, to move more. But I'm not, I don't believe in fitness modeling being my way to do that. So uh, I. I finally decided to commit to a few ideas. Uh, it's going to connect my passion for health, fitness, healthy living, helping people, but it's also going to uh, connect another side of me, uh, me, techie side, you know, the one that's into building applications uh, about technology, about using technology to help a lot of people. So that's, uh, I thought about a few ideas that have been haunting me for like, <laughs> I don't know, for a few months already, and finally decided to pursue those things. Uh, I have already, I know a few people who are into tech, who are into technology, who are into apps building. I'm at, I'm on the fitness side, health side on the, of things, and I believe I can build something that's gonna help a lot of people to uh, feel better, to connect to uh, other healthy fitness uh, people around and to go out there move more and live a healthier lifestyle and why not you know uh, this weekend i've been listening to tony robbins talking with uh founders of airbnb and those guys they started with just 
some idea because they didn't have uh, um, money to pay their rent, they decided to rent out the couch on actually air but in their living room and they failed a few times they relaunched the um, idea a couple of times before it became successful uh, they came you know they were coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff like Obama cereal <laughs> you know they were buying cereal in at the store packing it in another package selling it like all kinds of crazy stuff before their idea worked and uh, uh, I believe too, I can make my idea happen. I don't know how yet, but um, I know I'm gonna make it, make it happen because I'm really passionate about it and I know how it's gonna work. The idea is clear, I just don't know how to make it happen yet. Anyway, that gives me a feeling that I'm gonna be contributing to something bigger than myself, making the world a better place, solving one small problem at a time. Uh, before starting working on my bigger visions and bigger goals and that's why I totally believe in a couple of months from now I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a couple of businesses maybe not entirely successful who knows you know where it's gonna go but um, that's my thing for the next couple of months I'm also gonna be uh, building a food company, healthy um, snacks company, so uh, if you want to join, if you want to, uh, you know, talk about it, let me know, uh, but that's what, what I'm going to be working on, a couple of applications and uh, healthy snacks company, so uh, find what's meaningful to you, what gives you that sense that you belong to something bigger than yourself, that you can contribute to something bigger than yourself, and then get after it, because even if you don't become uh, next, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> Airbnb of Facebook, at least your life gonna be fun and you're gonna feel, uh, gonna have that feeling of happiness and joy and fulfilling, fulfillment going after that goal. So find what, uh, find what's meaningful to you and contribute to that every single day as much as you can and that's gonna motivate you and it's the only actually thing that motivates all of us all of human beings the rest is just noise it motivates you for a while but it doesn't give you that deep feeling of happiness and joy and well-being so find what's meaningful to you find what makes you feel that you contribute to something bigger than yourself and then go and work on that every single day with a huge smile on your face and you're gonna have beautiful life amazing energy and you're gonna attract the right kind of people and you're gonna attract the right kind of circumstances and uh, events and uh, opportunities and everything Life brought you here for a purpose, contribute to something that's meaningful to you, and that's the only thing that's gonna motivate you for, for your life. <laughs> Angela, daily bite of health. If it helped, uh, um, oh, well, Peter wrote me. I was writing about this to myself last night, so this is really hit home for me today. I, I believe, you know, we are all connected, we're having the same thoughts, and the universe just needs all of us to start contributing to something bigger than ourselves to create a better world for all of us, and that's, so we're all having this thought. So finding what's meaningful to you, uh, dedicate yourself and your life to it, and have an amazing day. <laughs> Angela, daily bite of health, and I'll see you tomorrow with some food news. <laughs> Thank you for watching, for comments, for likes, and sharing. Love you all. Bye.